Hi everybody, it's Diane. I'm back with a couple more iCads. I had just used this set of markers in another project, and as I was using this color, I was thinking to myself, it's more like a red orange. It's really not red. And I was looking at the marker itself. This, well, what do they call it? And these aren't named. So Diane's going to name them. And I thought, I'll make an eye kit out of it. So my big idea is I'm going to color an area. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then cut it out with a circle punch. Is that going to be big enough? Not bigger. And then glue it to another index card to name them. I kind of thought of just doing this more or less and then like drawing a square around to border it off. But I don't know. I just thought that sounded like a lot of work. So you get to watch me color. Should I speed this up too? <laughs> I don't have noise today, at least outside, but no one wants to watch me just scribble colors, do they? And I think I'm going to need more than one card to scribble. Well, all right, you know what? I'll do that. I'll continue to scribble, then I will punch, then I will glue, and then I will come back. And just for the record, I, you know, I'm not associated with big or anything. This is a pretty good set. I will say the black thin line, that ran out really fast. I didn't use it that much, so I wasn't too happy about that. But otherwise, they're okay. And they don't smell too bad. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, here we are. The gray won't fit on here. I'm not going to do gray. I didn't bother to do black. It's just black. And do you notice actually anything a little odd about this set? There's no yellow, and yeah, that does actually kind of bother me. It, um, I have other yellow markers, but they're not here. This one is small. I keep it up here by me, so it's like, oh, I need yellow. It's not in this set. It actually is kind of irksome. And if you were smart, you'd save these and do something really clever with them, wouldn't you? So I'm going to save them, but I don't know if I'll come up with anything clever. <laughs> They'll probably sit there for a couple months, and I'll throw it out. And just to prove how life likes to uh, play little tricks on Diane, my initial thought for this was to cut, or punch, I mean squares. I have a small square punch, which actually is, this is an inch. The square is like three quarters of an inch. And that would have fit on here better, which is why these are a little jumbled, because perfectly spaced out, it wouldn't fit. So I made them jumbly on purpose. And I thought, oh, my square punch is in the basement. I don't want to get it. So I just used my circle punch because it's up here. So then when I went to punch, or I mean glue, the squares, circles on, oh, I'm on index cards. And where are they? In the basement. <laughs> so I go down there anyway. Okay. My first thought was to just write whatever color name I decide on it in my own handwriting. But I thought, well, let's be fun and take up more time and everything. And why don't we print them out and then put it on? Since these are so sketchy looking, we'll make the words look, you know, nice and neat. Let me get a scrap paper. So I think that's a good idea. You can do whatever you want. But anyway, so you guys have to help me come up with color names. And if this is taking way too long, I'll pause again. All right, dark, this dark blue. You know, actually this one, I'm not going to, but it's like, oh, how about hole punch or circle punch green? It's like dead on. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like, just like, you know, true blue. Should we just call it... Well, it's a hair, hair off true. Not true blue. Not quite true blue. We tried not quite true blue. Right. That rolls right off your tongue. Um, well, we'll skip that. <laughs> not this one. That's pretty. Um, well, they're all pretty. This 
this one I was thinking spring pink. Why don't we do that? So that'd be, what, eight? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. <laughs> well, this is definitely like a magenta or violet red. Um, what about sun violet? It kind of looks like if the sun was shining through a violet flower. How about that? Or violet sun. Violet sun. Yeah, and actually, see, I'm right. This isn't red. It's, the, I mean, I admit it, the cap does not look red red. But it doesn't really look orange to me either. Like down here, it looks more red. But it is. It's more orange than red. Actually, it's like a really deep peach. Why don't we call it that? Deep peach. How about this one? It looks tangerine-ish or burnt buttercup. Um, gold, some golden something, golden, golden buttercup. That's not bad. I may change my mind on that, but. Uh, okay, anything else hitting me? And if not, I'll pause because I'll have to pause to print these out anyway. Well, that's actually that is a very true green. How about evergreen? Not evergreen, but evergreen. And that way, when you know people want to go buy this paint color, it'll confuse everybody because it's two words. Well, that's kind of like a spring green, too, but we have spring pink. How about bouncy green? Green bounce. Green, you know, like spring bounce. You get it? <laughs> Diane, why don't you go pause? Green. Uh, bounce doesn't. Okay. I'm going to think by myself and print by myself and probably glue by myself. And hopefully not have to go back in my basement by myself. And I will come back. Okay, I'm back. I think I did what I said I was going to do. So I came up with Blue Crush, Summer Pool, Sea Foam. And it's predictable, right? Spring Weave, Ever Green, Deep Peach, Autumn Petal, Spring Pink, Violet Sun, and Heirloom Iris. And I think that looks pretty cool printed out certainly could write it but I think that looks cool and just because I like to waste people's time I had a family member standing by me a couple minutes ago and I said well what would you name these colors so let's hear what they came up with because I think it's kind of interesting stormy night cool breeze Lufa, golf course I like that one fresh grass <laughs> I forgot my sunscreen at home Citrusy orange, hyper pink, faded velvet, and grapes in the sun. Pretty cool. Okay, anyway, back to the task at hand. I don't think that's a completed piece of art. So I just thought of putting um, a stamped flower around. But I don't think I want it over, so I grabbed that gray one we didn't use so I can use it as a mask. So I'm going to try that. And that was the only idea I had at the moment, so I don't know. I kind of doubt this will be enough. Yeah, that's a good lesson. Um, save your garbage until you're done with the project. I've learned that <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> yeah, I've dug through my little bin there going, oh, wait, maybe I should put that word on there. 
whatever. Hey, I think I could get the Bic company to pay me to come up with color names for their markers. No. <laughs> you really want to know, Diane? No, I don't think that. Um, maybe down there. Okay. Well, one more in the corner, I guess. Now we're off down. Okay, that's good. But yeah, I still wouldn't say it's done. Um, my same family member said, why don't you do dots in the um, marker colors? I could do that around. Or little lines. Let's try that. And I have a feeling that's going to be a little tedious. It's going to be a lot tedious. I may have to pause again. We just did blue or blue crush. Yeah, let's use the right names. Summer pool, sea foam, spring weave. And I got to say, I think these two look like a MasterCard logo ever green and you have to say it that way too deep peach or i left my sunscreen at home autumn petal spring pink Violet Sun, an Heirloom, Iris. Yeah, actually, I think that'll be pretty cool. But I also think you don't want to watch me do all that. You know what let's do? Let me just set these aside. <laughs> uh, um, I had another card in mind, which has absolutely nothing to do with this. But as long as I'm making iCAD, that, that's what it has to do with this. It's just another iCAD. I made some inchies yesterday and finished them off this morning. And no, I didn't film it just because, I don't know. It, I have a hard time coming up with inchy uh, details. I can usually find images okay. I can usually find background papers okay. But like a little flower, a little word, I usually hunt and hunt and hunt, and it's just so boring. But anyway, this one, I kind of thought would make a cute iCAD in some way. It's, um, it was on an envelope. I had purchased something, and they sent it in a brown envelope, and that was part of the design. They had some designs on it. Oh, this card's kind of chewed up. Let's get a better one. So anyway, I saved that. So there, there's my iCAD, I'm done. All right, by the way, we'll totally get off subject here today. I just have this sitting over here. My husband and I came up with a new calling card for our shop, which yeah, unless you've bought anything, I don't have any old ones here. It was just sort of like, you know, the top of my YouTube header, it's probably like right there. It's like faded edges of books and stuff. That's what it was with the word over it. But it just kind of dawned on me since I used that car, you know, in the beginning. Maybe it should be the car. It should be on the thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> so, there. My husband did all the digital arranging and work. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So, there. If you buy something, you'll get a new calling card. There's a plug, huh? But I thought that turned out kind of neat. It, um, the old one was fine, but this has a lot more impact. I think people would remember it more because of the car. 
Right, that's kind of cool. And then maybe a word. All right, just a sec. Wait, we'll put, we'll put this on there. <laughs> I don't know if I can shut up. Oh. Yeah, I kind of twisted my knee the other day, so if you hear me moaning and groaning when I'm walking around, that's why. This is fun. I should save that for another card, shouldn't I? Treasures. Well, actually, that's kind of cool because of the color. Let me cut it out a little better. This was out of a magazine. I have no idea what it was talking about. Actually, yeah, I bet it was a um, travel guide brochure. It was a travel guide for Wonderland. You, you can go meet the March Hare and the you know the caterpillar and everybody. It's fun. Okay, I like that. Do I want something in the background? Just leave it alone, maybe do some stitching. Okay, I'll pause and glue this. I'll finish our colorful border. I may do, I'm thinking of a red or a deep peach um, border or something. Or I may go get an actual red marker. I'm not sure. Okay, I will be back and probably be done. Hang on. Okay, yes, they're done. Um, I dotted just a little bit around each circle in its appropriate color. I think that's kind of cute. And then this one, you can barely see it, but there is a yellow star there. So I punched some yellow stars out of paper, scrap of paper. And I just did a simple markered border. I didn't even use a ruler. And yes, I had to go get a different yellow marker because that set doesn't have yellow. Anyway, so very different from each other. Kind of fun, kind of quirky. Two more iCads. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a nice day out there.